Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where we do painting tutorials. On my last video on Sunday, I got a few comments asking to do a clouds painting tutorial with watercolor pencils. So I thought I'd do not one, not two, but three different styles and types of clouds. A dramatic one, cotton candy clouds and your plain white clouds. I tape down my paper into three sections with masking tape. I have some basic ideas I've sketched out with a normal graphite pencil, but if I paint over it, you'd see the black lines afterwards. So I start by outlining my pink clouds with semicircles with some round shapes using my magenta watercolor pencil. I'm just going to cover up the sketch and erase the graphite with a kneaded eraser. I find kneaded erasers work great for erasing graphite, but they do not pick up the worker pencils. Then I lay down some random ideas with my ultramarine blue on the right painting. I just want to figure out uh, the basic layout for my clouds and on the top, again, I pick up the graphite with my eraser, that way you do not see the black peeking through on the background. I cover the top one with dark chrome yellow, you can use any yellow or orange or just pick your favorite color. I do one rough layer, enough to cover the whole area. Then for the lower one, I take my magenta and I roughly cover the sky, avoiding the clouds. I add a bit of pale geranium just to brighten up that magenta. Then I color the bottom of each cloud with magenta. I'm leaving the top part blank because I want to have a little gradient going on in each cloud. I want the top to be lighter than the lower half, so I just do some random scribbles. For the blue one, I cover the entire section using ultramarine blue, a very rough layer, it does not have to be perfect. Just go left to right, right to left, it absolutely does not matter. By the way, disclaimer, this is just my favorite ways to paint clouds. There are other techniques out there, these are just the ones I used most often. I take my watercolor brush and I activate the yellow background going right to left, left to right a couple of times to make it smooth. I'm going to leave that one to dry, then I clean my brush again and I blend the pink background. I start from the lightest section of the sky going towards the top, leaving the clouds aside for now. Then I clean my brush from any pink and I start blending the clouds with a circular scrubbing motion. I start from the top where I left the clouds white and then I gently scribble towards the magenta on the bottom of the cloud. Then I clean my brush and go over again just to smooth it out. It's very important to clean the brush when you move from a dark pink towards the white Otherwise, everything is going to end up being one solid batch of color. For now, I just try to focus on getting a nice gradient and keeping the top of the clouds nice and crisp. Once I finish the pink, I clean my brush and blend the blue. I'm using a bit more water by squeezing the brush's handle a bit tighter. Then I take a napkin, you can use kitchen paper, toilet paper, tissues, it doesn't matter. I just crumple it and press against the wet paper to lift off some of the blue. I like having bigger clouds on the top and skinnier ones towards the bottom. By now my yellow section has dried, so I take my magenta and sketch some random cloud shapes, framing my yellow background. I'm using very uneven, very random shapes. If drawing is not your thing, there are traceables for all of the drawings on my Patreon page, Sunshine Arts, and like always, you can find a full list of the supplies used in the description box down below. Once I have it covered with clouds, I color them very roughly, again with my magenta. Then I go back to my ultramarine blue and I apply it beneath each cloud in my yellow painting. 
That way, I add a bit of a shadow under each one of them, maybe like a sunset or rainy clouds. Apologies for the change in frame there, my battery died, so I had to change it. I take again my brush, make sure it's clean, and I start blending from light to dark, aka from the magenta towards the ultramarine, and once they activate together, they are going to give a very nice prune slash purple shadow beneath. Because I am right-handed, I find it more comfortable to blend from the top left towards the bottom right, otherwise I'd end up smudging the paint across the sky. If you're a lefty, then the opposite works best for you, aka if you're going to use your left hand, work from the top right towards the bottom left. Now for some finishing touches. The blue painting was looking a bit unbalanced to me, so I thought I'd add some ground using my three colors ultramarine, magenta and dark chrome yellow. Then I activate them to get this beautiful violet and it looks much better now. If your clouds have an area that is uneven and you're not too happy with it, rather than trying to activate it because watercolor pencils do not really lift off once they have dried. If that's the case, you can take your white pencil now. It is usually transparent, so you won't be able to see a strong white highlight when you apply it, but it will be enough to smooth things out and make them look more gradual, more like a gradient. Here I'll show you the difference with the before and the after, and you can really see it makes it much better, much smoother. Lastly, I used my hair dryer on medium heat to break down the glue and the tape, that way it does not rip my paper. That's a little bonus hack from my art hacks video I did a while back. I like to give special thanks to my patrons for the month of August. Please let me know if you enjoy this kind of videos by liking, commenting, and if you have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you all for watching and we'll see each other in the next video.